Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick power hour clean with me. I timed myself to do a just quick one hour of straight cleaning and I got a ton done. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I try to update you guys as much as I can over there. Okay, so I'm gonna give y'all a little overview of how the house looks like right now. So I'm just gonna try to focus my time on the main living space, um, just because it's the worst. <laughs> like, what is all this? We have all the towels and jackets from this morning, tons of pizza boxes that need to go out to the trash. We just got a mess in here. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get all this cleaned up. And then Amaya's room is, phew, tore up from the floor up <laughs> from all her new toys so we're gonna go get in there and organize those as well um but yeah this is what we're starting with so i can't tell what's wrong or right should i go without saying goodbye all I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now, need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. Okay, so I'm fixing to vacuum up this rug really quick, and I'm using the um, Bissell Power Force Compact. I actually used to have the full size of this, and I loved it. It lasted so many years, um, but I bought the smaller one just because since I only have a few rugs in each room, um, I really didn't feel like it was necessary to have a huge vacuum. I also wanted to mention that this little vacuum is not great on hard floor, so just keep that in mind. I literally only use it for my rugs, and sometimes I will vacuum the hard floor, but it does have a little bit of a kickback, so just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a great hard floor vacuum, I highly, highly recommend the Dirt Devil Stick Vacuum. I will have that linked in the description box below. It is literally the best thing ever. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts with them we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high I definitely get distracted easily and this little package caught my eye on our little open shelving and it was the little piece to my daughter's camera that we bought her for her birthday. So she just turned six years old and this is um, this is one of the gifts that we got her. It is a kid's digital camera and I am honestly shocked at how good the quality is. It's so easy to use and very lightweight so she loves it and she spent all day taking photos with it. So if you're looking for something to get for a young child, I highly recommend it um, and I will link it in the description box below. It was like 34 bucks. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think. So by the way, the cleaner I'm using is called Pine Glow. It's what I usually use all the time. I just use an old spray bottle and pour it in and dilute it a little bit with water and it works great and it smells good too. So um, after taking out those boxes, I'm now going to move on to taking off all of the birthday decor off the wall. Sitting by the phone, hoping you'll answer yours. Baby, let's talk until we're fine. 
You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. Can't you just magically turn up in mind? Then you knock on my door on the second floor, and I feel okay. We just made it through, and I love the way I feel for you. Mm -hmm, so after taking down all the party decorations, I usually like to go through and save whatever's good quality that's kind of neutral that I will be able to use for the next year. This is a great way to save money for parties and also, I love to save the gift bags. I am probably the worst at making sure I have a gift bag. I'll go buy gifts all day long and I always forget to grab the gift bag. So I like to have these in the closet just in case. And now that I've gotten all of the main living space cleaned up, I'm going to quickly take out the trash and then we are going to move into Amaya's room and start cleaning up in there. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it What I decided to do was take all of her new toys and kind of just put them right there to the side by her nightstand. That way, whenever she woke up from a nap, she knew where everything was. Um, she hadn't quite opened everything up yet, and she was kind of playing with everything. So anything that was new that hadn't been opened yet, I just stuck right back into that gift bag. And um, all the little pieces, I just put into little Ziploc bags. That way, she knew where everything was. And it just helped, you know, organize it a little bit better. And then, of course, I got all the trash out of this room. Remember I was laughing In all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good Right after cleaning up my daughter's room, I moved back into the main living space. I checked the clock to see how much I had or how much time I had left in my hour and I only had 10 minutes left. So I like tried to prioritize my time and I thought to myself like if I can at least get the floors done, I will feel like I accomplished enough. But by the time I was done sweeping the floor and picking up all the dirt, and then cleaning off my sliding glass window, I like ran out of time. <laughs> it was crazy how fast this hour flew by, 
but I feel like I did get a ton done and just having that men like mentally knowing I was timing myself for one hour, it just gave me a ton of motivation to get things done. So if you've never tried to do a power hour, I highly recommend it. I definitely will be doing more of these in the future. And if you want to see more of these, just make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Um, I would love to film more. They definitely helped me get a lot done. So at this point, I only had like two minutes left of my hour, and I just decided to go ahead and spend that time cleaning the dreaded sliding glass doors. So I'm using the Sprayway Foaming Glass Cleaner. This stuff's amazing, but to be honest, no matter what I do, these doors never stay clean. Alrighty, so I just got done cleaning. I am sweating. Um, obviously, I have a sweater on too, but once I got busy, I didn't want to go change because I only had an hour, <laughs> but it is now 3.12. I just took a screenshot before I started recording this, um, and then I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what I was able to get done so far. Okay, so the kitchen is clean. I didn't do the dishes yet. I really didn't have time, so I just got everything kind of tidied up. I got all the trash and everything put away um, and thrown away outside, and then... Let me turn you guys around this way. Got all the decor off the walls. The floors are swept. I still need to mop. Um, and then Amaya's room, I cleaned up, but they're in there playing now, so it won't take long. All right, y'all. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really enjoyed filming this. It was a lot of fun to try to get as much cleaning as I could done. Um, in an hour. Honestly, an hour is not that much time. If you think about it, it flies by, especially when you have kids and you're moving your tripod around. But if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And I'll try my best to film more of these if you're interested. But anyway, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.